Hi, it's Nardwar, the human serviette at Sunido de Valle, about to interview Dominic Fyatt. Hey, wow. Dominic, hey! Welcome to Sunido de Valle! Yes, dude, how you doing? Come on so in. Nice to meet you. Come on in. We're going to do an interview here at this amazing record store. All right. I'm freaking out. In Los Angeles, California. All right. Oh, come on, right over here. Dominic. Fike. First off... I'm a big fan of you. Well, thank you so much for being into Nardwar the Human Serviette. Of course. Yeah, naturally. Nardwar. 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 Who are you? Um, uh, I saw where Jay-Z did this and he was like, oh, I'm not supposed to make it. I'm, I'm Dominic Fike, though. Dominic, welcome to Sonido de Valle Records. Thank you for having me. Quote, photo album, but the color? Faded from it. Now, speaking of photo albums, what can you say about this photo right here? You and a guitar. I think I got this for Christmas. This is in my first house that I remember having. Um, this was a Squire, right? Yeah, it's first guitar I ever had. Yeah, I was curious, how many guitars do you have now and what types are there? Can you list them? Um, I have so many and they're all really great. Um, I can't list them because I just, I lose them all the time and I keep them all over the world, but I have so many guitars. I'm a collector. Dom, what's the importance of pedals? What's the importance of pedals? Um, it depends. Uh, I like to use them in the studio, modulation, verb. I think it's just a better... It's a more physical and intimate way to, to get some effects off rather than using VSTs or something like that. What about the settings for pedals? What sort of settings do you use? Are they complicated? No, very not complicated. Mostly just distortion and reverb. Why? Well, I have a gift for you, and it's in this box oh. right here. Thank you. Holy shit, dude. This is fucking nuts. What's good with this? Brother. An actual guitar pedal for Dominic? Fike, dude, your face is on. <laughs> Nardwar versus? Yeah, me, Nardwar versus Dominic Fike. Dude, the human serviette. And if you turn it over to explain, could you read what's on the back? Single was that germanium transistor dirty boost made to enrich and fatten the guitar tone for lead work designer. Whoa, dude. Yeah, this is like what I use. So this is a guitar pedal for you, made by Adam from Satellite Amps in San Diego, possibly for you to use on stage. Yeah, dude. I mean, I'll use it. I'm honored. Thank you so much. What do you think about guitar pedals? Like, this is like a like set, you know, how does that work? I think it's pretty. Um, oh, and the rattle is the battery. Yeah, is that what that is? Exactly. These have been dying on me lately, all the pedals that I have, and they've been not working. I'm about to switch to... Um, a Kemper. How do you deal with that, though? I don't. I pay people to do it. This is a gift for you. Thank you so much. Dominic, hopefully you'll use it on stage. Yeah, I'll use it. In place of one that's broken. I'll use it on Sunday. Camp Flog? No. Like, you're playing at this upcoming carnival. Will there be different versions of the song? Like, the live version is a bit different than a recorded version, right? Yes, sir. There will be different versions. And I'm very excited to play for Tyler, the creator. Flashman Edge Park. Yeah, 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 what about it? Well, I was curious, was this picture taken at, what's going on here? Could you explain? This is me, I forget what somebody called it. It's called a mini something, like a, I was trying to do a hand plant. When I was a kid, I used to be a good skater. See that? Yeah, um, this is taken at the Edge, which is now named Johnny Nocera. Snuggles Fike. Dude, that's... <laughs> yeah, what about him? What can you see about Snuggles Fight? I, I got him at a uh, theme park. It's a stuffed animal that I had ever since I was a kid, like a small one. It's my first stuffed animal. Still there? Yeah, I still have one. At home? Yeah. What, what is it of? What do you mean? Snuggles. He's a caterpillar. Okay. Not a bear. Gus Baker. Yeah, yeah. He was like... My kind of best friend as a kid. Crazy Chris. Crazy Chris. Christian Morales. Oh, Chico. Right? That's Chico, yeah. What about him? Yeah. What 
about the USS Nemo? Damn. That's, uh, yeah, that's like my favorite place in Naples. What do you order? Uh, bento box. What is there? What could I order? Like, should I check it out? What should people check out in Naples, you know, restaurant-wise? Uh, I mean, there's not a lot of good food, but that's like one of the places that isn't like resort food. It's good shit. Who got the? What? Who got the juice? Who got the juice? Oh, uh, juicelation? Juicelation. <laughs> it's in the plaza. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about it? I was curious, did you ever go to the Day 4 Spa or the La Belle Spa, like the spas that were in the area? I don't like I don't like that kind of stuff. I don't like people touching me unless we're about to get naked. Baboom. Baboom. And you were Dominic? Fike. Fike. And actually, back to this photo here, what's going on here? There's some amazing hair. Yeah, my mother teased my hair. Are you familiar with that? It looks like you have some teased hair now. Actually, baboom. <laughs> Yes, my mother uh, had did this for me. I remember this day, actually. This was a really nice day. G-Force and... Yeah, Gus and... Uh, D-Block. Yeah, me. Damn. Yeah, from those videos. Right? You probably dug those up. The short film. Yeah, those are, those are bad. Sorry about that. What's going on there? Because you sometimes used your own music, but other times you didn't. Like, I think on that film, you used, like, some Nancy Sinatra. Bang, bang. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, we did. That's when I first really started making music. And we would, that's when I started getting drunk, too. They go hand in hand. Like some Thanksgiving vids for, oh, to yeah. show. The Turkey Day one. Did you find that? I've been looking for that. Well, it could explain the Turkey Day, the early music. What, what's happening there? Yeah, I don't know. We would make songs. Me and my little brother would make songs based around like holidays and shit. And they were horrible. But it was my first time really experimenting with GarageBand and like putting songs together. And I was really just using that as an excuse to like teach myself song structure. 2500 Vanderbilt Beach Road. Yeah, what about it? Is that Gus's address? What about it? Well, I was curious. <laughs> <laughs> that is I was curious. This is where this gig happened with. Yeek. Oh. Off the block. Yeah. Off the hook. Dude. Yeah. This was bad. This was a bad night. Why was it bad? Is was at a comedy club, right? Yeah. This is when I first got a record deal. This was a bad show. But it's preserved for eternity. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, what makes a bad show? Like a bad show for you might be a good show for somebody else. Yeah, yeah. No, I was on I was on drugs. So that's how, when I have bad shows. And also you were called LSG? Yeah, dude. That was my... Damn. I don't want... Yeah, that was my first name. Like, rap name. I had a rap name. L dollar sign G. It was for Lord Space Go, which was my gamer tag on Xbox Live at the time. Because my uh, sign, I'm a Capricorn, right? It's like a seagoat. And Dominic means Sunday or Lord. So I fucking put them together like an idiot, and then I used it as a rap name, and it sucked. Well, how long did it suck? A whole year. Quote, we used to live out west in a... Collective. And I was curious also about the collective, the backhouse collective. We have a special kit. Oh, they're going to be so psyched. Yeah, this was for South By, right? A tequila yeah. bar. Yeah, dude, this was during South by Southwest. I actually, that was full of Jack Daniels, and I blacked out at this show, and I walked into a random person's house in, like, Atlanta or Texas or something, like a random person's house, and I slept on his couch. And then he woke me up with a gun and was like, what are you doing in my house? And I was, and he started laughing at me. No, how did that happen? Like, you thought it was your... how. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was my crib. And I went in his fridge, and I just took my shoes off and laid on his couch like a random guy. But I, how did you get into that? Like, he wasn't home? Was he home or? No, I walked in the front door. But he was a cool guy because he laughed? or yeah. he was? No, he was cool, but he was also like, get out of my house. Did he have a shotgun yeah, with him? Yeah, he had a big-ass gun. And you put him on the guest list for the next gig? I didn't. I just left. I was really blacked out. And that was with Backhouse. That is a picture of Backhouse. Yeah. So this is my friend Sino. 
This is Isaac. This is Sean, my older brother, and this is me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I used to be in a collective out west. Exactly the song. No, you also came to Malibu and lost your ID? Yeah, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> All right, what about it? Well, like Malibu, that's what I mean, like backhouse making it to Malibu and then losing your ID. What, how did you, like a gun and losing yeah. ID, it's pretty crazy. We went to do a show at Los Globos and everyone got messed up and nobody made it to the show. And then uh, I lost my ID that night and everyone else from the collective went back home and they left me in California and I didn't have any money. And I just stayed out here with a random white guy and he like hooked me up. He was real nice to me. How'd you meet him? He was like, I guess, a friend of my old, my like. Uh, I had a friend in high school, and he was his older brother. So how long did you stay? Another week. And he had no problem like this hosting you. And how did you get back? I think he uh, thought I was gonna like make music for him. I got back via a flight that he bought me. I'm charismatic when I'm when I need something. And Dominic, you have a big team. Who's in your team right now? If we could yeah. pan over there. This Who do we have in your team? From the left. Yeah, from the left, goofy ass Nick Dero, my fucking boy. Fucking Paige. We just met. We just met. Talia. Talia? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. This is Claiborne Bajorian right here. That's my boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my new assistant. This is Fran. And this is my best friend since a fucking kid, Maxwell. Seriously, he grew up with me. He found a lot of this shit with me. I wanted him to see this. But let's take it, Dominic, all the way to Little Kim. This is a gift for you. Dude, whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, this is when I discovered I was like attracted to women. So Check out this lineup, though, yeah. of women. Who do we have? Yeah, Brad, Left Eye, Missy, Misdemeanor, Elliot, and Angie Martinez, bro. What the lineup? Yeah, bro. This is like my mom. Dude, you have no idea how much my mom played like the, the heroes for women at the time for this kind, like this kind of woman. Like my mom would wear this kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, she had this Lil' Kim CD in a CD booklet in her car. And one time I took it out and just went to my room with it. And then... She found it like under my bed and knew what I was using it for. But I was I try I was turned on by Lil' Kim as a jit. That's amazing. <laughs> Shout out Lil' Kim. And that is a gift for you, some little yeah. Kim. Thank you so much. And your mom too. Thank you, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I just got a house. I'm excited to put this stuff in my house. And you'd mentioned Sino of Backhouse. Yes, sir. What was that rolling loud like that Sino played? Cause you were there. Yeah. Or the stage. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. What the fuck? Yeah. Um, that was, uh, it was a shit show, but we met this guy named Marty Mobile and he took us back to his house in Miami. And then from then on, he got us a bunch more shows. And then that, and then I met people like, like Wi Fi and like Post from then on. We were all doing shows in like Miami, like this little. In Puya? In Puya facts and like shit like rob banks and those people that's when i met all those boys you know so that was a significant kind of like a life-changing moment for me rolling around the original lame boys yeah i yes i had a collective called lame boys that's actually what's tattooed on my face is lbe for lame boys entertainment don't get it twisted that's really what it stands for i always say it stands for let's be even but it doesn't it stands for lame boys entertainment for the record I made it here with a tattoo of Lame Boys Entertainment on my forehead. And, and yep. every morning you wake up looking at that. I wake up and I'm like, damn, that's success. Has anybody recognized that or wondered what it was? What it says? Have they had to explain it to people? I lie about it in most interviews. What, did they, what do you say it is? I say it stands for Let's Be Even, but I respect you, so it stands for Lame Boys Entertainment. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dom. Thank you for respect. Thank you. For, that's amazing. Yeah, nah, of course. Did Euphoria buy you a trumpet? Yeah, they did. <laughs> My character was supposed to play the trumpet. You know that scene that everybody fucking made fun of me for at the very end of playing the guitar? That was supposed to be a trumpet, so imagine that. That's amazing getting an instrument. Do you still have it? Yeah, it was like four grand. They bought me like any trump I wanted. You know, I just sent them what I wanted and they bought it. But in the end, it was a guitar. In the end, it was a guitar. What's the history on the guitar that they bought? 
hopefully they bought it, right? Uh, probably. I I think that the trumpet is an annoying instrument. I think that we all just decided that it would have been annoying. What the soundtrack for Euphoria? I noticed there's some yeet in it. Was that a dom decision? How did you get yeet in Euphoria? Nah, Sam's very like. Sam and Lab, the dudes that do that shit, are very, it's very much just them. I didn't do shit for that. I was actually sad that I wasn't more involved in that. And you also went back to high school, Lily High. Yeah, dude. Yeah. What was going on there? Because that's not your high school. Nah, so I was pretty, like, homeless for a sec, and I needed to go to a school. I was living in my friend Gus Baker, his uh, shop. and uh, What type of shop? It was like a fucking... Like a dark ass shop, dude. It was like a boat shop. They kept a boat in there, and I just slept in it. And then, uh, is it hard to sleep? For me? Yeah, because you were able to sleep at different people's houses. Some people yeah. like have a hard time sleep, and like you can sleep anywhere. Can Dom sleep anywhere? Yeah. The more money you get, the harder it is to sleep. On oh, God. Was there a group of kids that got disciplined together? Maybe me and my friend Gus. Are you talking about like the roof thing? What? Yeah. Please explain. I think I was like skateboarding on a roof. And that was the first time I was ever, like, put in handcuffs. Was somebody filming? I think so. Yeah, we were trying to film a skate video. And they called the cops? Mm-hmm. And they skateboarded. Skateboarding is not a crime. It's not. But when you're on the roof and you're, and you're doing it off and you're putting yourself in danger in front of a bunch of rich white folks, you know. Scream, eagle, scream. Yeah, man. I went to Naples High School. Golden Eagles. Two kinds of people in this world. Golden Eagles, and those that want to be Golden Eagles. Sorry about that. And Dominic Fike, I have another gift for you, and it's in this package right here. Okay, I'm excited, man. I'm kind of worried, dude. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. What is it? Is this real? This is a real-ass fucking, like, poster from back then? Featuring Sam Cooke. Yeah, Sam Cooke. I love Sam Cooke so much, dude. Yeah, what can you say about Sam Cooke and Dominic Fike? Well, I forget how I got into him. I think it was like with an ex-girlfriend. Uh, we just used to cook to him. And then I realized he's like... You cooked to Sam Cooke. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so one of my favorite artists, Julian Casablancas, really loves him and makes music like him. And, um, uh, 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 and then I called my mom about him, and, and it turns out my mom is like the biggest Sam Cooke fan. Also, somebody in our neighborhood used to lie and be like, this is my uncle. And it's not. That's a gift for you. Wow, brother. You're, you're an angel, dude. Thank you so much. Oh, sure. No problem. Oh, I can't. That's cool. You're shouting out Sam Cooke as well. Dude. And that you cook. Yeah. And you really cook musically as well. Yes, sir, baby. Damn, this is so tight, dude. You're a good guy. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate the kind words. Absolutely, yeah. That inspires me to want to do more. I hope so, dude. Please do more. You learned to drive at Prius? Mm-hmm. At Melrose Driving School, 25 years old. And now you have a Jeep Wagoneer? I have a Porsche. I thought you have a Jeep Wagoneer. I saw you driving a Z Low in a Jeep Wagoneer. Oh, yeah. That was like a prop car. That was an amazing. What do you think about the Jeep Wagoneer? It's kind of a cool car, isn't it? Super sick. I want to get something like that, but um, I didn't know how to drive until like a year ago. So they recommended I start with something that was like user friendly. And that was totally. I, I looked amazing. Yeah. That's like my kind of thing. I would look hot in one of those or like an old Bronco. That's what I want to do. I want to get a dog. I want to get an old car. I just bought a house in Topanga. I want to stay out there and just marry a white lady that only wears leather hats. White leather? Because that's what the white ladies out in Topanga smell like. Baboom. Baboom. Dom, what's for dinner? Chicken tenders. Jimmy P. Burgers. Oh, Jimmy P's. That's the best butcher in Naples, Florida. The crust pizza. Uh, old pizza spot you're talking about? Mel's Diner. Mel's Diner, dude. Shout out to Mel's Diner. Had a lot of uh, pretty mediocre mornings at Mel's Diner. Grouper and Chips. That is the that is the Naples, Florida dish. If you come to Naples, get grouper. If you come to Florida, people don't have it out here. They don't eat grouper in California. What's that like? It's delicious. It's How would you describe it? A white, flaky, tender fish. Not too moist. Not too dry. Right in the middle. I think we're Dominic. Fike. But at 10 years old, you don't like chocolate? I still don't really like chocolate. I had a birthday party 
that no one came to, and I ate like a whole cake of chocolate, and then I was like hospitalized. I threw up like so much that I had to go to the doctor. And nobody came to your birthday, so you ate the cake yourself. Yeah, but now I, the next year my mom like made me, she like put pumpkin pie. She put a bunch of candles in the pumpkin pie, and now that's like my favorite food. It's actually a sweet story. It's a nice story. How did you get in a bad bunny video? Dude, I don't know. Uh, He randomly likes my music. I don't know why, but he likes my music. And he asked me to be in the video. Personally, they just text you, or how did that work out? I mean, we talked through, like, a fucking one of my white boy homies, Aiden Cullen. Shout out to Aiden Cullen. And Cappy helped with some of your songs? Yes. Yes, he deserved to be in this interview. Yes, Cappy, produced by Cappy. Good friend of mine, Kevin Carbo. When was that? Uh, I mean, he when I first started rapping, he was the one that was the producer for us. So he was kind of like my way into the, to studios because he like recognized a little bit of talent i suppose and started giving me like little free sessions here and there and then uh, he also did three nights how important is it to get encouragement in the very beginning could you have done it without encouragement probably not i want to say yeah, yeah. i want to say yes because there was not a lot of straightforward encouragement it was mostly like backhanded compliments you know it's like yeah this is pretty good but you know like one in a million people actually make money doing this you know so i like to think i was fucking i had all the cards stacked against me i like to that paint that picture anything else you like to add dominic i'm a huge fan of you and thank you so much for having me here in Ardwar. and uh i've been watching you for a super long time i don't like to do interviews, and I will not do one for a long time after this, but I thought I had to show up here because I think you're very special and you take pride in what you do, and I appreciate anybody in this sort of industry who, who does that. So thank you for, you know, being a special human and taking pride in what you do and, uh, and for having me. Well, thank you very much for the kind words, Dominic. I really appreciate that. that inspires me to do more. Absolutely, dude. You're a professional. And why should people care about Dominic Fike? Why should people care? Uh, they shouldn't, probably. There's a lot of shit going on. But, I don't know. Probably just don't, you know? Just don't. I'm going to switch careers here soon. I already did acting. I'm probably going to transfer into something with less of a face. So stop listening to my music. Well, thanks so much, Dominic. Keep on rocking in a free world. And do 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 yeah. Oh, and the thing. I forgot. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot he does the thing. That's so good. Let me just get a selfie really quick. <laughs> this is crazy, dude. All right. I don't have anywhere to be, so I might just come hang. Yeah. Y'all be good, man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Me. Yeah.